Hey guys, it's Hack Tutorials, and today I'm going to show you how to get all camos for Black Ops 2, whether they're from DLC 1 or DLC 2. So this is for if you're on uh, custom firmware and you have install package files and everything. Uh, so if you're on a regular PS3, it's not going to work. Alright, so let's get started. Uh, download the file in the description that I put in there. Uh, download the one for your Black Ops 2 game. If you if your Black Ops 2 game is Blues, you download the Blues one. If yours on Bless, then you download the Bless one. Mine is on Bless, so that's what I got. When you open it up, it should look like this. And basically, these are all the camos. All right, from from DLC one and two. All right, so just basically copy this folder to your USB. Once you've done that, plug your USB into your PS3. Once your uh, USB is in your PS3, then uh, here, just go into Multiman. I'm just going to be using Multiman as a uh, file manager. You can also be using like FileZilla if you have a uh, client or I mean server, just via FTP, or, like Comgenies or something. But I'm just using Multiman. So click select and start in the same time if you're in Multiman. Uh, so first, just go to your USB, PS3 root, uh, dev underscore USB 000, and you should see the folder that you put in there, so bless 01717. So cl uh, click on this, and select everything in here. It takes a minute, so I'm just going to skip through this. Okay, once you've selected everything, just uh, click circle and click copy, and everything's going to copy. So now, click uh, left on the d-pad to go back, go into uh, dev underscore hd0, scroll down to game in lower caps, and find your uh, Black Ops 2, so mine's bless 01717. So I'll go to USR DIR, and you see all these different things, all these camos, because I already did this, so I'm just going to paste it anyway, and I'm going to replace them all. Paste. Yes. Alright, so everything is, uh, just replaced for me. So for you, it's just going to, no, none of this is going to be there. All you're going to see is like, uh, dlc 0edat eboot.bin. And then these two things, but now you're gonna see all these different things you just added in. So once you've done that, you're all, you're all good. So you can just exit out of multi man. All right. So before you go online, I recommend installing PS Ninja V4. I have the download in the description. So uh, just open it up. So click wipe history, replace history, and make history read only, and then click exit. This is pretty much the best way to prevent getting banned because it just kind of gets rid of your history of opening up homebrew offline, so Sony has no way to tell if you've been on homebrew. Okay, so um, I'll just go public match, uh, create a class, so I'll just go on the DSR. And if you go over to DLC, you have all of these unlocked. You have all of them. It works perfectly fine. And you can use any of them that you want. And it says, you see it says new on all of them. It's because I just redid this. And they all work. I promise you they all work. And I'm just going to go into a uh, custom game. I mean, I already tried this before. That's why they're already set, but... I'll just go, I'll just change them up. I'll just go like graffiti and DS, and for the ballista, I'll just go like, uh, second deal. I'll just go like, I don't know. Afterlife, why not? Here, I'm just gonna show you how that it works. So there's graffiti on this gun, the DSR, and, uh, afterlife on this gun. So it works completely fine. Um, it looks sick. You have all the camos, and Black Ops 2's camos are just amazing. You know? Alright. <laughs> I'm not really concentrating on this, but... 
game is really fun. I haven't played this game in a while. I just I usually play MW3. They're really different. I don't know why I'm on 14 sensitivity. This is too high. Yeah, this is all right. So uh, it's not about my skill, but. I mean, so yeah, it works. I definitely recommend doing this because these camos are so much better than just the, the standard ones, and they're free, so. Alright, well, anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and you can have a lot of fun with this.